What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Crown and Forge. Today we've got a package. Courtesy, sort of, of my friend over at uh, Scott Big Boar Knife and Gear. He turned me on to this company after complaining I couldn't find a uh, Lynch Northwest that was in stock. I got tired of waiting for Lynch Northwest to get it together, put some supply out there, so this is Vice Hardware. This is a pry bar. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't opened it yet or anything like that. I just saw it online. I thought, damn, that's a cool looking, cool looking gizmo. So here we go. This little package. It's made in the USA, as you can see. We got here. Hustle. Fucking right, man. That's me all day. Put that bad boy on. Hustle. Dig it. Sticker swag alerts. That's dope. Bang. Put that right there. The retail price on this thing was approximately $130, I think. A little spendy, but it's a little different than the typical pry bars you see out there. This is the M1. And that is nice. Got a good feel to it. The Anno on there. Cool sticker, nice presentation, man. I'm impressed. Man. This is a sturdy thing. It's a sturdy, uh, you hear that? I can really get some leverage on that thing. Just bang, Try something open with that. A little bit of, a little bit of action right there. Mm, fuck somebody up with that. <laughs> Not that I would. Some nice jumping on the back here. That's really cool, man. Loving this detail right in here. Right in there, look at that. And that's a nice touch. That is a nice, nice touch, man. Thanks, Scott, for turning me on to this dude. And that just feels good. It's unique, too. I mean, you got this hook back here. Pocket clip. Handmade too, that's dope. Man, Vice has got it going on. For a few more bucks than a Lynch Northwest is, I mean, they say they go for like 80 bucks. You can't ever find one in stock. I've been subscribed to that email alert list for six months and I haven't gotten a single email. But for 50 bucks more, you can have this in your mailbox in just a few weeks. That's cool. Let's see how much it weighs. One point twenty two. That's super light. Your measurement on it. Some of you guys probably want to see that. Is that four and a quarter? Yeah. That's dope. God dang, that's so light. 
in a pry bar and pry bar and a bug out 3.10 ounces. That's both of those are lighter than this paramilitary too. 3.11, 10, 6, 8, 7. 6, 8, 7 ounces. Do you know what else weighs that much? Almost this thing. 666. Six, six, plus the bead, so maybe not. That's nuts. <laughs> this is nuts, man. These are two of the lightest things I own for EDC. That's crazy. Spidey flicking these. It never gets old. <laughs> so yeah. I mean that's looking that's looking like my that's looking like my setup for a while. Uh, I really like this combination. There's a lot of things I don't ever want to pry with a nice knife. You know what I mean? This thing, I have no problem. I mean I know it's hundred and thirty dollars, but you know, it's not gonna go nowhere. It's a tool, it's meant to be used. Got a nice edge on this side, got a nice edge on this side, and hook something here. And hook this on something and then hook something from here, hang something. Try it in the pocket. And it disappears right in the pocket. That is cool. If you're like a tradesman or something, you're gonna be like if you're definitely if you're a painter or something, this is a great tool to have. Get some paint on there, that'd be cool. So yeah, I'm impressed. This is cool, man. RiceHardware.com. Like on Instagram and Facebook. That's the review, guys. Love it. I recommend it. Go hustle. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out.